Hello Internet, my name is Lave, and I'm suffering with a bit of a cold at the moment, so if I sound a bit nasally, if my nose starts dripping, I do apologise, but I'm a hero. I'm soldiering on, and last night I watched Ghost Stories, which is co-written and directed by Jeremy Dyson, who was involved in the League of Gentlemen, a British comedy series in the late 90s, and Andy Nyman, who also stars as Professor Goodman, a paranormal sceptic who makes a living debunking supernatural mysteries and fraudulent psychics, when one day he comes across three cases of unexplained hauntings involving three individuals, so he goes off and investigates them to see if they're the real deal. So if you're a regular on my channel, you will know that horror isn't my favourite genre. I don't hate it, but I just feel that they tend to use the same tried and tested tropes over and over again. And this one isn't particularly different. It uses every trick in the book, in particular, jump scares. I started counting them and I lost count at around about 15 to 20 jump scares, which in a film which is only an hour and a half long is a lot of jump scares. But that's not to say that this film isn't atmospheric and spooky. I think the makers are aware of the tropes and are using them to reasonably good effect. I will say though that some of the tension is lost by virtue of the fact that Professor Goodman is interviewing these people after the events have happened, I'm just saying. What kept me engaged though was the larger mystery at play. I kept asking myself as the film was progressing, what is the point to all of this? Are these three stories interlinked or are they all just hoaxes? Now the film does reveal all by the end, and I was really, really satisfied with it actually, and of course, I'm not going to spoil what happens here. What I will say though, is that this film has an underlying theme of grief and repressed memories and standing up to mistakes from your past. In many ways, you could look at this as a modern retelling of Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol. It does remind me of a couple of other films, but again, I don't want to say what those films are because I think that would give it away. So the horror is decent, the drama is very, very good, and there are some moments of wit that got genuine laughs out of me too. What I really love about this film is that it doesn't pander to the American audience. It's got a very British sense of humour. For example, Paul Whitehouse's character says a line about car insurance and for those who don't know, Paul Whitehouse is a legendary stand-up comedian and he later on did car insurance adverts. I think I was the only one in the audience who got that, but it did make me laugh. Alongside the legendary comedian that is Paul Whitehouse, you've also got Alex Lawther and Martin Freeman as the three other individuals in these unexplained mysteries. It's a good mix of up-and-coming talent and established talent, and they all do a really good job, to be honest. But as I say, as the film progressed and it was getting on to the third ghost story, I thought it was getting a bit repetitive and I was starting to lose interest, but then it absolutely brings it home for its third act reveal. So that's my thoughts on ghost stories and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now. Apparently this film is adapted from a stage play by all of the same people. I haven't seen that so I couldn't tell you if it's a straight up adaptation of that but I will say that I think it has translated onto screen extremely well. Once again, I'm not the biggest fan of horror and I think it does a decent job of giving you the spooks. I was really invested in the characters, particularly in the main character. It kind of reminds me of a good extended episode of The Twilight Zone, but just British. If you like being spooked and you want to have a laugh along the way, I think this one is worth checking out. And that's coming from someone who isn't a fan of the horror genre. So thanks very much for watching my review of Ghost Stories. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give this video a like and don't forget to share the lave. I'm going back to bed. <coughs>